girl Z, and today we about to cook, y'all. It's not like it's not a hard meal. It's an easy meal, but everybody cook it different. So let's get into it. I got some. We cooking chicken Alfredo today, by the way. And I got some chicken. It's chicken breast. I already cut it up. And I got some shrimps. I already cleaned them and deveined them. And I got some mushrooms. I put mushrooms in my chicken alfredo and I like to chop them up so I had chopped them up and I got some penny noodles and yes it's a great value that great value be good y'all people be putting that down but it be good great value work well y'all I got the seasonings you know you gotta have seasonings you can't cook no chicken alfredo just sauce gotta have the seasoning so I got the complete seasoning this seasoning really good Got the Creole seasoning, chopped onions, black pepper, parsley. You gotta have the parsley. Got the Italian seasoning, the chopped red peppers. Got the minced garlic. And I got the absent salt. Well, absent salt. And this for a lot of people, I don't know. I guess a lot of people use it, but this is for like to enhance the flavor. And I got some Parmesan cheese. I got some whipping cream, some heavy whipping cream. This to make the sauce, this to make the sauce too. And I got another container of this in the fridge. I just took out one. And I got some butter. You know, butter make everything taste better. And yeah, that's it for all the ingredients. Hello, you guys. Now I'm about to cook the chicken and the pasta. Now I got the chicken breast right here. I put, I filled the bottom of the pan with grease just so I could sear it a little bit. And I don't like to season my chicken until I have it inside the pan, so. But I put the grease in there. Go ahead and start putting my chicken in there. And I just season it. And no, I do not. I don't measure measure nothing. I don't. I just free hand it, baby. Go for what you know. Most of these seasonings that I'm using, they don't have salt in it. So, most of them like natural herbs. So, that's why if it look like I'm using a lot, it's not going to be salty. It's just natural herbs. And this the pepper. Y'all, I use a lot of pepper in my food. I just, I don't know. It's like weird because... I like to see the pepper. I feel like if you don't see the pepper, like after you cook it, like if you don't see little pepper flakes on there, you ain't cooking it right. That's how I feel. Some people probably be different, but yeah. I feel like you ain't putting enough pepper in it. Now you ain't cooking it right, but gotta put the pepper in it. Some absent salt, just to enhance that flavor. I think I use all these. I'll get the salt. That's good. I just mix it up. I had to turn it down. Turn it back up. 
Just mix all them seasonings up together. You gotta let that chicken cook. Let it cook good. It smells so good. Already, it smells so good. Y'all, excuse that blind. That's the blind side. That's the door to our garage. My brothers had messed up the blind playing. It's so good. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and do this pasta. I had put some water in the pot and I got it boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and put these pastas in there. But when I cook pasta, I put the water in there. And I put some olive oil and a little bit of salt. And I put the olive oil in there just so they won't stick together. I don't think I need this whole box for this one. Just use half the box. And y'all, I'm going to let this cook and I'm going to get back with y'all. Okay, you guys. So, this is the chicken. It's actually done. So, I'm about to get ready to take it out and drain it. It's done. I'm about to get ready to take it out and drain it. And this is the pasta. It's still cooking. y'all so the chicken is done and i'm about to take it out and drain it i'm putting it putting it inside a drainer in a bowl and the reason why i didn't just dump it in there because the seasoning and stuff that's on the bottom i'm going to use it for the sauce so I'm trying to keep that in there Get all the chicken out of here. So as y'all can see, it's the seasoning and just degrees at the bottom from the chicken. And I'm gonna leave that in there because I'm gonna use it for the sauce. I got some garlic. Use, get a little bit of this garlic and put it in there. I gotta get this butter. I don't measure, so I just, I don't know, I just be cooking. I don't know now. My mom be always telling me, you need to measure the food, or even when I cook cakes, I never measure what I use on cake. I just cook it, and it be good. So I do. I like the butter in there, that's how I put the garlic in there. And then I like to put my mushrooms in there. Good, it smells good, y'all. I am hungry. And then this one, I put the heavy cream in there. Ooh, open up, baby. Just pour the heavy cream in there. And they look creamy, y'all, but when it cook, once it cook, it's going to get thick. Gonna get thick, and I also add parmesan here. Y'all almost forgot about the parmesan. What I do, like, I don't add all of it in there at once, 
what I do is, like while it's cooking, I add a little bit by little bit in there. Open up, baby. Open up. You don't want to open. I better get a knife. So what I do with the Parmesan, I add a little bit. Add just a tad. Well, not a little bit, but I just don't add all of it. Add just a tad in there so I can cook down with the sauce. And then as it boils some more, I'm going to keep adding it and keep adding it in there. And I'm going to eventually use this whole thing. Now with Parmesan cheese, you don't have to use this kind. This is my favorite kind, personally. Because I like how it tastes and I like how it melts as well. But I'm going to let this boil and I'm going to also drain these noodles because they are looking done. Girl, I got it going on. I actually think I need to turn it down so it's a thick and get this heat off because it seems to be seems to be um heating back up the cheese. So that's what I'm gonna do. But before I turn it down, this is like the last thing I do with the sauce. This is the last thing I cook, it's the shrimp. And I know some people probably cook the shrimp separate, but I like to cook it in the sauce because it don't take a long time for the shrimp to cook. It like, it take no time for the shrimp to cook really. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Just add the shrimp in the sauce. Ooh, I done, I done splashed it. Let y'all see the rest of it. Get in there, baby. They don't wanna be cooked y'all, but they about to be cooked today. The girl about to eat. Now I'm about to turn this, turn this thing down. And the shrimp will cook in there. See ya. And they turn it orange already. And I'm gonna turn the stove down and let them cook. Y'all, school about to start back. This summer been haven't been all that. Like, this is my first time taking summer classes. And usually I don't take summer classes. I just take a break for the summer and just get some extra money, get some extra hours at work. But this Time I said, okay, I'll try it because I want to go ahead and get out of college. It's, it's stressful, y'all. It's stressful. College is stressful. It's good, though. I, I believe it's going to pay off at the end, but it is stressful. And, um, um, I like, I kind of did like the summer. It's like pros and cons to it. I kind of liked it just because. It um it go by way faster than the other semesters. Like the summer go by way faster. But the con of it is it just moves too fast. Like everybody don't learn at the same pace. Me myself, it take me some time to understand. I I be asking questions, like I be wanting to know. And the two summer classes that I did take like that was online. And I don't I don't like online classes. I like to be in class so I can ask questions. Like the online, you could ask the teachers questions, but they didn't get back to you fast enough. They didn't. So by the time I needed that question answered, the um assignment was already turned in, honey. But I did pretty good. I passed I passed one class. But my other class, I didn't get a grade for it yet. But I believe I passed that one too. I did pretty good on the little assignments. I did all my assignments. Did good on my quizzes. So uh, you girl straight. I think you girl straight. But this semester coming up, I got a full schedule, y'all. Like a full schedule. So about to get that done. Go ahead and get it working together. You feel me? 
Y'all see them shrimps? They about done. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit longer. Cook a little bit longer in that sauce. But like I was saying, y'all, I'm ready. I'm so ready to graduate. Like... Everybody been asking me, like, when you go graduate, when you go graduate, I'm going to graduate, honey. Just wait. It takes some time for some people. Like, it's crazy. Like, I kind of, I kind of been feeling down, right? Because a lot of people I graduated with, I don't see them, like, graduate college and do this and do that. But, like, I never talked to my mom about that. Like, little stuff like that, I talked to my mom about all that stuff. But I had talked to her and then she was telling me how um everybody it's not the I don't know how to word it. She was telling me like when it's your time, it's your time, basically. So I'm waiting, I'm being patient, I'm doing what I gotta do, I'm going to school, going to work, do what I gotta do. And it's my time, it's gonna be my time. And I believe that and I'm cool with that. And I be so happy for my friends like y'all. Well, my old friends. Well, we, I don't know. You know how you don't talk to people for a long time. But I'm so happy for everybody that I done seen, that I done graduated with. And then, like, see them accomplishing their stuff. Like, that is so good to me. I love it. I love it. I love seeing people do good. It's great. It is, honey. Yeah, this stuff's so good. I'm just sitting here drinking. It is so good. But, um... Yeah, this done. The sauce done, really. Play some shrimps. Just want to give it a little bit more time. They basically done, though. For real. And you don't want to cook your shrimps too long. Because they'll get all soft or they'll either they'll either get really soft or they'll get thick and hard like rubber. Like you don't want your shrimps like that. You want them good. And they done. See them done change colors and stuff. And I'm curled up a little bit more. They good. They solid. So now we're gonna pour this chicken in here. Got the chicken. I'm gonna pour it in this. Pour the chicken back in there. Oh, that looks so good. This might be good, y'all. I usually do spinach or broccoli, but my behind, I thought we had a bag bag of spinach in the fridge. So when I went to the store, I did not buy none. And I did not feel like going back to the store to get some. So I was like, we out of luck, honey. So I'm not going back to get none. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey, no sir, nada. Cause we like, where we live at, it's not close to the stores. It's kind of, it's kind of off. Like, not off. I wouldn't say we live in the woods, but we kind of live in the country, kind of. Like, it'll probably take about 15, 20 minutes to get to the store. But I just don't want to. I don't want to drive. I don't drove all day. Y'all, I did jury duty today. It was, it was okay. But the thing about it, well, it went okay. Because I didn't get picked. But I sat there for hours and hours and hours. And then they um there was like they had to see if they had some more spots open. So we had took a little lunch break. And then they had um what happened? We took a little lunch break and then after that they had asked us to come back after the lunch break. And we had came back and remind you, I went there at 8.30 that morning. We had to come back at um 3. Came back at 3. And then we sat there 
when we came back at three, we sat there for like an hour because we was waiting on the judge. Sat there for like an hour. Then I guess they decided and they had um started calling names and gave me a check or whatever. Yeah, this is my first time doing jewelry duty. Well, I guess I didn't do it, but they get, gave me a check. The check was $25, you know, gas money, baby, gas money. So I was thankful for them little $25. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all see this? Yes, baby. It's getting out. It's in there. I got the pasta in a pan. And I like to pour my sauce on top of it. It's a lot. But it's okay, though, because we about to eat, y'all. We are about to eat, honey. Make sure I get all of it. Every bit of it. And now we're going to mix it up. With the pasta. Kind of groove it in there. Shove this way in there. Now after that. I'm going to get some more cheese. And just put it on top of there. And with it still being hot. It's gonna melt the cheese. Let's let some sit on top of there. I'm also get some parsley. Put some parsley on top of there. Okay, so now y'all, I'm done. Looking all good and creamy and stuff. And my brother G gonna taste it. So, you ready? Yeah. And Keontae don't eat. Um. Alfredo, he don't eat the sauce, so dang. You can't wait. Mm -mm. You ain't even say your grace, homeboy. But it's all right. You finna say him in a minute. Is it good? Yep. Yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying. All good. Got the shrimps and the chicken and stuff in here. Okay. Well, you enjoy. Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? So y'all saw me cook. It was pretty good. Oh. Hey guys, so that's the end of the video. Y'all saw me cook. We done cooked together. We done had a little conversation. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I know y'all now. I done told y'all about my little jury duty and about school. But like I was saying, y'all please like, comment, subscribe. I know I've been slacking, but I'm finna pick this thing back up. Because your girl trying to trying to do a little something something you feel me I'm about to pick this thing back up and i'm about to do what i gotta do to get y'all some more content so please like comment and subscribe please give me some tips if you know what you're doing if your edit fine please give me some tips on my editing anything comment and give me some tips i don't i don't like i'm not the type to be mad about criticism but let me know so I can do something better. And then the next time, next time I take your advice and your girl be bomb. You feel me? Your girl be bomb. <laughs> but I love y'all.